Arsenal against Manchester United is always one of the biggest games of the season whenever it's played. But in the September heat of 1998, the match had a special edge. Arsenal ran out as holders of the Premier League trophy that Manchester United fans had begun to regard as their own. Arsene Wenger's side were also looking to become the first team in Premier League history to record three successive victories over Manchester United. So three points and a small piece of history at stake. Arsenal would have to do it without Emmanuel Petit, who was injured. Stephen Hughes came into midfield alongside Patrick Vieira. Dennis Bergkamp partnered Nicola Anelka up front. Andy Cole wasn't available for Alex Ferguson, while Paul Scholes and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer only made the bench. Ryan Giggs was deployed in a central attacking role alongside Dwight York, while Jesper Blomquist played wide on the left. Captain Roy Keane partnered Nicky Butt in a physical United midfield. Everyone in the country had an eye on this one, not least England manager Glenn Hoddle, who was keeping tabs on a number of the main protagonists. Your match commentator is Alan Parry. It's Manchester United, all in black, remember, who get the game underway, attacking from left to right. Dwight York getting his first touch, one back off him by Patrick Vieira. Arsenal first on the attack with Parler, who overcame an ankle injury to take his place today. Good challenge there by Dennis Irwin to stop him in his tracks. Martin Keogh, one of the many, many internationals on view. In fact, it's uh, looking around the pitch hard to find anyone who hasn't played for his country in this star-studded lineup, including number two here. Gary Neville, England's right back, although because Glenn Hoddle chooses to play with three centre backs, he often loses out, though he is the undisputed number one in that position. Dwight York, a £12.6 million signing, club record, and the second highest in British history behind Alan Shearer at £15 million. Bergkamp's layoff gets it back again from Anelka. This is Nigel Winterberg. Back to the captain, Tony Adams. He spreads play to Lee Dixon. Finding Vieira. Back again to the right back. He's found some space here, Dixon. And that's an excellent ball to Parler. Bergkamp, back to Dixon. Shot well blocked by Irwin. But a very bright start there by Arsenal. Good attack. And then a fine challenge by Beckham on Winterburn. Here's Vieira. Bergkamp, lovely skill. Overmars had to check to avoid being offside. And Stamm just prevents the ball going for a corner. And Schmeichel playing a very sloppy ball back to him and could have been made to pay for that. But Bergkamp right underneath the shot. Good start, though, by Arsenal here. Mistake here by Stamm, who made a very unsteady start to his United career in the Charity Shield match against Arsenal, but I don't think he was too grateful when Schmeichel uh, played it back to him then. Keown's clearance. Then Winterburn helps it forward. Back in again by uh, Henningberg. And the whistle goes for a free kick. Foul by Patrick Vieira on Jesper Blomqvist. Good position this for Manchester United. We all know what David Beckham is capable of. Just to name one of the uh, likely takers here already scored a couple of spectacular goals this season so David Seaman his England colleague will know what to expect but he still had to go at full stretch to keep it out an excellent effort from that distance by David Beckham Seaman at full stretch to save Now Lee Dixon. Parler making the run. Irwin should get there first, and does. Poor layoff again by Bergkamp, but Parler gets it, and Bergkamp again. Good run by Dennis Bergkamp. Up against a fellow Dutchman, of course, in Jap Stam, who is the world's most expensive defender at ten and three quarter million pounds. Here's David Beckham for Manchester United. What would he fetch in the transfer market, I wonder?
Keown heading behind for a corner. Beckham with the corner here for Manchester United. Keane trying to head it back in. And who made contact there? It was Adams, yes. Another corner on the other side. Where most of Manchester United's followers are gathered. Short this time to David Beckham. He plays a good deep ball in. Headed clear by Hughes. Blomquist. Closed down by Bergkamp. Winterburn gets the tackle in. And Blomquist will find, as uh, all his contemporaries from overseas have before him, how blisteringly quick the pace of the English game is. Vieira showing his pace and strength and pulls it back to Bergkamp. Blocked by Irwin. Dixon under the loose ball and an excellent shot by the right back. Schmeichel right behind it. What a bright start to this game here. It's really flowing. Great football from England's two most successful sides in recent years. Overmars in a goal-scoring position here. Schmeichel saves with his legs on the near post. Wonderful stuff already at Highbury. Well, Overmars just found himself at the wrong angle here, basically. Arsene Wenger, almost two years now in charge at Arsenal, and what a transformation he's brought about. Quite rightly voted manager of the year last season. Excellent interception by the ageless Dixon. Here's Parler. Erwin again doing well, but he's still got the cross in. Free kick, Blomquist's foul. Dixon particularly keen to do well because he'll miss the next game against Sheffield Wednesday due to suspension after being sent off against Chelsea. Stephen Hughes will take the free kick. The big guns of Adams, Keo moving forward. And the header is in by Adams. Tony Adams, the captain, gives Arsenal the lead. 14 minutes gone. A towering header by Tony Adams from a quite superb Hughes free kick. He got above all the defenders and Peter Schmeichel. And the ball flew into the back of the net. Tony Adams gives Arsenal first blood here at Highbury. A great ball to Giggs. Neville. Vieira under pressure here from Dwight York. Oh, well played. Very cool. And a good ball from Hughes over Mars. Arsenal looking dangerous here. Look how much ground Keane has made up. Now Anelka, Overmars, and still Overmars, and now Bergkamp, Anelka in there as well, and finds a way through, Bergkamp's shot in the end goes wide. And Manchester United at the centre of their defence looked all at sea then. It's been a very good game of football this, in the heat at Highbury, and the heat is on Manchester United at the moment. But Adams' missed kick clearance causes Arsenal a problem. And Dixon says, well, whatever you can do badly, I can do worse. Here's Dwight York. Beckham, danger here for Arsenal. Great effort. How did that stay out? Beckham can't believe it. David Seaman was beaten. No question about that but it hit the post and seemed to bounce along the goal line. You sense the moment he got it, there was danger here. Look at that. Unbelievable. Nine times out of ten, these hit the post and go in. Not this time. And Arsenal may feel that this is going to be their day when little things like that happen. Great effort. Hughes, back to Winterburn. 
Beckham on hand, but he still finds Overmars. This is Parler. Good effort. Oh, that wasn't far off. Schmeichel not too happy with the defending in front of him. And Ray Parler, who scored six goals in the championship season, close to his first of this season. Dwight York finds Giggs. Back again to York. Good tackle, Keogh. Longquist gets the cross in. And Beckham shaped to hit it. But Winterburn made sure he couldn't. Berg did well then, but it's gone straight to Overmars. Anelka. And Anelka's through. Great save. Magnificent goalkeeping by Peter Schmeichel. That looked the second Arsenal goal from the moment Anelka broke loose. Well, that's sloppy. Vieira. What a run again by Patrick Vieira. Great tackle by Stam. Well, he's had his critic Stam. And he's had his uneasy moments in this game, but that was brilliant. Giggs, the pace of the game. Outstanding here. And the quality. And there's a great ball. And Elka's in the clear again. And Schmeichel's denied him again. But with the follow-up, Anelka makes it two. And at long last, an Arsenal striker is off the mark. What a moment to score. A minute of the first half remaining. And Nicolas Anelka, despite the first brilliant save from Schmeichel, follows up to give Arsenal a 2-0 lead. A body blow to Manchester United. Keane. Foul by Vieira, uh, by Anoka rather. Now then, this in first half stoppage time could be an opportunity again for David Beckham to try and at least reduce the deficit before the interval. Ooh, it tested him again. But he was not to be found wanting for the second time. Manchester United free kick. We've had almost three minutes of stoppage time. The end of a brilliant first half at Highbury. Tony Adams setting the champions on their way with a towering header and Nicolas Anelka with a second goal just before the half-time whistle. And Arsenal go off deservedly in front here at Highbury against Manchester United by two goals to nil. No personal changes made by either Arsene Wenger or Alex Ferguson during the half-time interval. But I do suspect that if uh, Manchester United don't quickly get back into this game early in the second half, then Ferguson might have to make those changes. Arsenal get the half underway, attacking from left to right, and leading by two goals to nil, remember. Winners of their last three matches against Manchester United. Stam beaten to it, and it drops to Bergkamp! Side netting. He'd have been scoring goals like that a season ago that's the difference in confidence and sharpness I think between Dennis Bergkamp of last season and uh, the current version if you like Henningberg's clearance Hughes wins it back and then gets it from Overmars forward for Anelka to chase Neville the defender he's held him off well Winterburn 
Hughes. Foul by Keane, who seemed to take a little swipe at him as well when the Arsenal man was on the ground. And the Arsenal players are not at all happy about that incident. How much did referee Barber see, I wonder? Let's have a look at it again. In fact, it was Beckham as well, and before Keane. Well, if the referee had seen that, David Beckham might well have found himself red carded. He could be yet, of course. Why does David Beckham do those things? And remarkably, the referees take no action against either player. Well, that's poor refereeing for me. I can only assume he didn't see anything. There's a bit of needle in this game. It's not just a good football match. There's a bit of an undercurrent between these two. And it's beginning to boil over here. I think we have not seen the last yellow card by any means. He's quite a lenient referee, Mr Barber. And that leniency might cost him dearly here. Because this game is boiling. Butts giving it away. Anelka. Vieira. Now that's a bad tackle by Nicky Butt. He's going to be in trouble. The crowd want to see a red card. What colour will it be? It is red! And Nicky Butt is dismissed for the second successive game as Nicky Butt leaves the field and Manchester United's cause is looking near impossible now. And Nicky Butt starts the long walk back. Well, I did say this game was boiling up and it has done now. Big style. What a problem for Alex Ferguson now. Here's Lee Dixon. Parla. Vieira. Not wasted a ball today, Vieira. And Elka. His confidence flowing now. Bergkamp. Hustled out of it by Keane. Great ball by Keane. Blomquist. Only Dwight York up in support at the moment. Great run by Blomquist. Good effort, that. And a lovely, uh, safe piece of goalkeeping by David Seaman. He could have easily spilled that one out. He really hit that with some force. Yes, but Blomquist. And he certainly has scored goals for his previous clubs in Italy and uh, back home in Sweden, where he won four successive league titles with Gothenburg. Parler plays it forward to Bergkamp as Arsenal go looking for what would be a killer third goal. Parler, a no cat, far post, that's who he was looking for. Wasn't a very good ball though. Giggs. And Vieira wins it back again. A misunderstanding then between him and Bergkamp. York's given it away to Bergkamp. And he's onside, a no He could have finished off Manchester United then for sure. He should have. Horrendous mistake by Dwight York to present the ball back to Arsenal. Look at that. Straight at Bergkamp, who played a lovely little ball. And Anelka, for what, the third time in the game, found himself face-to-face -face with Peter Schmeichel and no defenders around him. Vieira finds Parler. Stam's interception. But it's only gone to Lee Dixon. Giggs, brilliant. Brilliant! Dwight York ahead of him. No, it wasn't the best cross, but you've got to underline. Ryan Giggs works harder, I think, than any naturally gifted player I've ever seen. You often find with players of his immense ability that they don't always have the work ethic that uh, lesser players have, but not with Giggs. And he proved it then. Neville getting forward, but there's still only Dwight York ahead of him, and he's just fallen over, would you believe? So he's going to have to go alone here. Beckham's cross. And Dixon's clearance hits Blomquist. It's 
good defending. Stam got there ahead of Bergkamp. The crowd thought it was a foul. The referee didn't. Keane. That is a foul by Hughes. And Hughes is a lucky man not to be in further trouble, having already been yellow carded. Very lucky boy. Now this is prime David Beckham territory. Is this the moment as we move into the final 15 minutes when Manchester United get a glimmer of hope, I wonder? If he gets this right, it'll take some keeping out. But again, David Seaman knew what to expect and reacted well, and in truth it was straight at him. And that's going to be the opportunity for Arsenal to bring on their newest player now. And uh, the man he'll replace... Nicholas Anelka, who goes off to a standing ovation from the 38,000 crowd. And on for his debut, Frederick Lundberg. He's just had one uh, half of a reserve match against Tottenham so far. Signed for £3 million from the Swedish champions, Honstad, after a very impressive game against England in the European Championship qualifiers. And wearing... The number eight jersey made famous by Arsenal's all-time record goal scorer Ian Wright, though keen to point out he's uh, not necessarily that sort of player himself. And to make matters worse for the Manchester United followers, the Arsenal fans start taunting them with the shout of champions. Factually correct, of course. Beckham cleared by Keown and Winterburn almost lost the boot Nigel Winterburn with over 700 games in his football career now incredible total Overmars brings Arsenal on the attack again Parler Overmars Hughes stabs it through, and Lundberg could score on his debut! What a moment for the young man! Within, what, five minutes of coming on for his first appearance for his new club, Lundberg has found himself on the score sheet. And oh, what a cool finish as well. Frederick Lundberg makes Manchester United's misery complete and Arsenal's joyous day just goes on. Oh dear, Alex Ferguson's face reflects the day, really, doesn't it? And now Dennis Irwin. York. Giggs, York, Irwin, Giggs. And still it wouldn't come down. And now it might for Overmars and Vieira's in support and Bergkamp's up with him as well. Oh, it goes on its way through from a deflection to Bergkamp and back again to Overmars. Good effort, well saved. Oh, I don't really think Schmeichel wanted the ball played back to him by Henning Berg then, do you? Stoppage time being played now. Arsenal in command, in control, cruising to three points. Vieira, Lundberg. And the thoughtful Arsene Wenger has schemed his way to another significant triumph for Arsenal. It's all over at Highbury. A magnificent performance by the champions, Arsenal. They played like champions today, and I'm sure Alex Ferguson will be the first to admit that. And Arsenal have three precious points from an excellent performance. The final score at Highbury, Arsenal 3, Manchester United 0.
Some debut for Freddy Lundberg, the first of many Arsenal goals for him. An emphatic win for Arsenal and one that produced much rejoicing in North London. They've beaten Manchester United for the third successive time in the league, the first team to manage that.